YouTube, this your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So Chris Brown just paid out two different lawsuits that he had in which he put all that shit behind him. In which the first one was for, you remember, the dudes tried to run up in the picture that he had with the chicks and he straight scrapped them out like I probably would have fucking did. He paid them dudes a hundred fucking thousand dollars. And then there's Frank Ocean's cousin in which he beat up and shit. In which Frank Ocean's cousin just sounds like a bitch ass dude. Like he wanted to try to sue Chris Brown for a million dollars on multiple counts of shit like battery for the psychological damage damage and all of that bullshit like totaling up to like five million he settled for twenty thousand so you already know what the fuck that was but anyway on to today's reply today's reply is to that Lupe Fiasco Massinger and you know it's interesting because he continues to release music on Fridays in which Seeing as though he has continuously been getting postponed by his record label and such, man, he quite honestly may have enough tracks to continue to drop something new every Friday leading up to at least his mixtape whenever the fuck that drops. Maybe not his album, which is in January, but I definitely like the consistency in which he's releasing stuff, man, as I've always told people, man, on my mixtape reviews. Whenever you record a project, man, record a lot, release a little, then release those individual projects that you weren't going to put on your project anyway, as promotion leading up to your shit. Now this song right here, a lot of people complaining and bitching about how long the intro and how long the outro is, when quite honestly, it's not that serious. I mean, everybody has some kind of editing software, man, if you needed to actually take that shit out if you were to download it. But quite honestly, man, the intro and the outro, it just showing you the inspiration that he got to make this song, which was a Japanese anime, I believe, of giant robots. But yet the song, once you finally get to that joint, Fucking dope, man. Solid production, solid flows, solid hope, man. I just like it all the way around. Honestly, it's one of the better songs that he's released since he started releasing material since they gave him a release date. So I definitely recommend you guys to go on out there and peep that one on out, man. It is fucking solid. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about taste in music. Because let's keep it 100 People just don't have the same taste in music. Like, me and my cousins who were raised in the same fucking house, who likes the same types of music, we disagree on the same tracks often, dude. Like, no two people could have the same taste in music. Only people that have that shit are the ones that are brainwashed by the commercial media. Now, given that, man, you have to kind of accept people for the taste of music and not try to put, like, a negative stigma like you got a bad taste of music because you only listen to this commercial bullshit. Let's not get it twisted. Commercial music that's typically on the radio are typically bullshit. There always are exceptions, but for the most part, commercial music is bullshit. But yet, there's a lot of people People that like that shit. Understand how difficult it is for you to change another person's taste in music. It's just best for you to accept them for who they are and you keep it pushing and you keep getting that good ass music. Some people are just too brainwashed to fucking change. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's